I was a Maoist intellectual in the music industry. I always knew that I could seize the world's imagination and show the possibilities for transformation. I saw a nation in decay, but also a solution. Permanent cultural revolution. Whenever I played my protest songs, the press applauded me, rolled out the red carpet and parted the Red Sea. But the pretty bourgeois Philistines all stayed away. They preferred their artists to have nothing to say. How did I pass my time on earth? What got into me? I was a Maoist intellectual in the music industry. I showed the people how they lived and told them it was bad. I showed them the insanity inside the bureaucrat and the archetypes and stereotypes that were my stock and trade. Toppled all the ivory towers which privilege had made. And though I tried to change your mind, I never tried your patience. All I tried to do was to point out your exploitation. But the powers that be took this to be a personal insult and refused to help me build my personality cult. How did I pass my time on earth? Now it can be revealed I was a Maoist intellectual in the entertainment field. I left the normal world behind and started living in the hinterland between dissolution and self-discipline. I burned the midnight oil to build my way of seeing like a miner at the coal face of meaning. The rich despised the songs I wrote which told the poor their worth, told the shy to speak and told the meek to take the earth. But my downfall came from being three things the working classes hated, agitated, organized, and overeducated. How did I pass my time on earth? How did I bear witness as a Maoist intellectual in the entertainment business? And how was I treated in this world and in this industry as a Maoist intellectual in a business would be? I became a hotel doorman. I stood there on the doormat clutching my forgotten discs in their forgotten format trying to hand them out to all the stars who sauntered in the ones who hadn't been like me who hadn't lived in vain i gave up ideology the day i lost my looks i never found a publisher for my little red book when i died the energy released by my frustration was nearly enough for reincarnation. But if I could live my life again, the last thing that I'd be is a Maoist intellectual in the music industry. Yeah, if I could live my life again, I think I'd like to be the man whose job is to stop the men who think like me. Huh. And if I could live my life again, well, that'd be the thing to be. The man who plots the stumbling blocks in the lives of the likes of me.